Hello and welcome back to Storytime at Nana's House. Always so very good to have you here with me. Look, I'm excited to share. It's simply called Swim, Little Wombat, Swim. And this book was published by my friends over at Paragon, who give me permission to share with you now. So here we go. Little Wombat was looking for apples. Hello, said a squeaky voice he didn't recognize. Little Wombat spun around. Hello, I'm Wombat, he said. Who are you? I'm Platypus, said the stranger. What do you think about him? Isn't he so cute? Little Wombat's cute too, though. Then Platypus waddled over to the pond and disappeared under the water. Platypus, little Wombat giggled. Platypus! He tried to waddle too. He giggled and he waddled. He got closer and closer to the water's edge. And then, curse splash! Little Wombat sank like a stone. Uh oh! What's going to happen? Look! He looks a little worried, doesn't he? But all of a sudden, in a flash, Platypus darted towards him. Before he knew it, Wombat was back at the surface and safely out of the water. Thank you, Platypus, he sputtered. How'd you learn to swim like that? It's easy, Platypus smiled. I'll teach you. First, little Wombat had to hold on to the edge and kick his legs as hard as he could. He was holding on and going kick, 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 kick. Then he splashed all around the pond. He splashed and kicked until he was worn out. Time for lunch, said Platypus. Little Wombat munched on a juicy red apple and Platypus munched on a handful of shrimp. Never swim on a full tummy, said Platypus. So they snoozed in the shade for an hour. What? A nap right now sounds really amazing to Nana, too. That afternoon, Little Wombat learned to paddle with his arms. Paddle, paddle and dive like a frog. Then through all the splashing, Little Wombat heard his name being called. Hey, Little Wombat! Little Wombat, where are you? Little Wombat! Rabbit and Koala had come to see what he had been doing all day. Little Wombat beamed. Platypus taught me to swim, he said. Come on, Platypus, let's race. And watch little Wombat's friends, Koala and Rabbit. They were going, Wombat, Wombat. his new friend. Wombatopus. Oh, look at that. So sweet. And that's the end. Da, da, da. Oh my goodness, wasn't that such a wonderful story? <gasps> Nana loves that book so much and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. It is time for me to go, my friends, but before I do, you know, I like to encourage you to continue letting your light shine by being kind. Until next time, take care of yourselves. God bless you. And always, always, always remember that this Nana right here loves you. Take care.